All right, guys, on today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to install Retro Arch on the Nintendo Wii. Now, this is going to be the latest guide for 2025. So, Retro Arch is a free and open source cross platform front end for emulators. So, you're going to be able to run all your systems from one place. I'm going to be leaving you all the links you're going to need in the pinned comment of this video. So, one's going to be for my page. So, just scroll down until you find the wallpaper of this video. I'm going to be leaving you a link for Retro Arch and the Retro Arch WAD. So you're going to need to format your SD card in FAT32 and copy the apps slash Retro Arch folder to the root. You're going to need to create a ROMs folder with subfolders for each system that you want to add. And then you're going to need to create a WADs folder and place the Retro Arch WAD in that folder. Um, on the Wii side, I'm going to be showing you how to install the WAD channel and a little bit of RetroArch. Now for the RetroArch download page, this is going to be on uh, archive.org. So just go down to the show all section. So download the five original. This is going to be a zip folder. You're going to need to unzip it using 7-Zip or WinRAR. So now for all the files for your SD card. So Apps folder is going to have RetroArch Wii and Wii Mod Lite. It's going to have a RetroArch folder, a ROMs folder with all your systems. So Game Boy, NES, Genesis, and SNES. WADs folder. This is going to have the WAD, the Retro Arch Wii. You're going to select all the folders. You're going to drag and drop them to the root of your Wii's SD card. And that's basically all you're going to need for the SD card. Now we're going to get over on the Wii. I'll show you guys how to install the WAD channel and a little bit of Retro Arch. So now over on the Wii, first thing we're going to do is install the channel. So we're going to run Wii Mod Lite from the Homebrew channel. So Wii Mod Lite, load. Go down to the WAD Manager, press A. Press A on the VSD slot. Go down to the WADs folder. Press A. So there's the RetroArch Wii WAD. Press A. Press A again to install. This shouldn't take too long. Now press any key to continue. Press B. And then press the home button. Should take you back to the homebrew channel. Now we're going to press home again. Exit the system menu. Now you should have the Retro Arch Wii WAD channel. There it is. Now we're going to start it up. Start. So this is going to have a really basic um, interface for Retro Arch. Just be patient, this might take a few seconds to load. So here we are in the main directory. Um, so I'm going to be showing you a basic install of RetroArch. Uh, but if you want to change any of the settings, you're going to go down to the settings section, press 2. And then you can basically change anything in here, including controllers and saves. And you can create a directory for your uh, game files and everything like that. So we're going to press 1 to go back. Um, so you can either load the core or load content. I find it easier to load the content. And then it's going to give you the cores that you can run the uh, system from, the, the game. So load content. You're going to go to SD. Press 2. You're going to find your ROMs folder. Press 2. You're going to pick your system. So first we'll do Game Boy. So press 2. 
Now here's the game, Super Mario Land, press 2. Now you're going to be given a choice of what core you want to use. So I'll just pick the top one, press 2. Now it should load, just give it a second. So there you go. So there's no issues at all with uh, Game Boy games in Retro Arch. Now press the home button. We're going to close content. Takes you back to the main directory. Now load content, SD, ROMs. We're going to load up a NES game. So Super Mario 3. You're going to pick a core, and it should load up the game. So I'm just using the Wii Remote for this. You can also use the uh, Classic Controller or Wii Pro Controller, it's up to you. Now press home again, close content. Load content, SD, ROMs. We're gonna load up a Sega Genesis game. So Sonic the Hedgehog. Uh, pick your core. So this is running Gen Plus GX. Just give it a second. So now press the home button, close content. Now we're going to run the Super Nintendo emulator. So load content, SD, ROMs, SNES, Super Mario World. Now you're going to pick your core. Now with Super Nintendo games, um, I would use the classic controller because some of the games are going to need the extra buttons. Press the home button. Uh, you can also do the saves from here. Save states or you can load the states from here. Uh, we're going to close content. We're going to quit RetroArch by pressing 2. Now it should take you back to the Wii's main menu. So there you go, that's how you uh, set up RetroArch on the Nintendo Wii. I will leave all the links you're going to need in the pinned comment of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and on to the next one.